So the first thing that I want to say here is go to bed at a set time early so that you have a better chance of waking up early in the morning. That 4 a.m. wake up, 5 a.m. wake up, it doesn't just start at 4 a.m. and it doesn't just depend on what kind of alarm clock you're using, what bed you're sleeping in. The most important thing is, did you get your eight hours of sleep? Are you going to bed at the same time every single day? So you want to train yourself just like you would train a puppy to go to bed at the same time every single day so that your circadian rhythm, the rhythm that you are naturally in based on your environment, your psychology, you're going to bed at the same time. So your body knows it's eight o'clock, the sun has gone down and it's time for me to go to bed. Even just half an hour or an hour every single day of not getting enough sleep, it has a cumulative effect. And so that compounding effect of all that sleep debt that you've accrued, you're going to have to pay it off at some point. And this leads me to the second proven way. Some of you have heard of the great speaker and role model and inspiration that is David Goggins. And he talks about developing a calloused mind. The reason he wakes up at 4 a.m is he's training his body just like when he's training in the gym and on his hands he develops calluses from all the pull-ups that he's done where he's hit the world record in the same way I want my mind to know you may have a tactical advantage over me you may know me inside out you may try and conquer my weaknesses but guess what I'm gonna callous myself to that I'm going to develop such a powerful routine that I'm going to stick to every single day because there are so many flaws and things I need to change about myself that I'm going to be immune to your tactics, immune to my weaknesses. At 4 a.m. you wake up, it's dark outside. There is nobody else on your street awake. It's cold, it's damp, it's boring, it's not fun. But you know what? I'm the first one up. You're gonna look around and realize I've done so much already. My day has been won. And if you start strong, you have a much better chance of finishing strong. Don't leave these things to the last minute. And the third thing, this is something that I've learned in my experience as a life coach, is mentally check in with yourself on a scale from one to 10. And I want you to write down your answer in the comments right now. Are you a 10? Are you a 10 out of 10 for doing this? And if you are anything but a 10, why not? If you're a nine, what would get you to a 10? If you're an eight, what would get you to a 10? I ask this question because if you don't have certainty, certainty in your mind, I am definitely gonna wake up at four o'clock tomorrow. What do you think is gonna happen at 3.55 a.m. or 4.55 a.m. whenever you're waking up and that alarm clock goes off and you're cozy, you're wrapped up in your covers and you want comfort. Your brain wants comfort. You don't care about being remarkable. You don't care about waking up early. Why do I want to wake up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m.? What is the plan? I'm going to wake up and do what? The clearer you are, the less thinking you have to do when you wake up and complexity is your enemy of implementation. Tip number four, use tools and tactics to your advantage. You can go on your phone right now, most of you have smartphones or you know someone that does and you can download an app where you have to scan a barcode before it turns off. You can sleep with the curtains open so you have no choice but to wake up when the sun hits your eyes. You can't get back to sleep. Use these things, design your environment in a way that nudges you to take the right course of action. Design it for yourself rather than being a dead fish that goes with the flow. And the final, I left the best tip till last, is learn your sleep chronotype. Waking up at 4am won't change your life if your body isn't designed for that. 
Your lifestyle is not designed for that. If it means you're only getting four hours of sleep, what is the point? You have something known as the PER3 gene and what this gene does in your DNA is coded into you that you have a natural rhythm to your day. You know this already. Learn to manage your energy, not your time. So create a graph. On one axis, you've got the time of day and the other axis, you've got your energy and map out what is my energy like throughout the day. At 10 a.m. I have a lot of energy. I'm really creative. But at 1 p.m. I'm finished. But then at 6 p.m. I feel really energized. I'm so creative. I have a hundred ideas. And then at 11 p.m. my mind is wired to get work done. But I need to get to sleep now. So learn your sleep chronotype and realize that everyone's routine is different. Everyone's sleep routine is different. Everyone's journey is different. Everyone's success is different. You are different. 